feeling good right now. I'm feeling good, man. My girl brought her hair out over here. <laughs> <laughs> she brought her out tonight. See that? Give it up for the hair, man. She brought her out, man. She got a uh, Beyonce going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just basking in the Beyonce. I'm Beyonce. It took a little while to get that. <laughs> Relationships can be a little tricky sometimes, man. They can be a little tricky, man. They, you know, you start arguing over things you have no control over, you know? Have like you ever get into an argument over a dream? <laughs> There's nothing more unsettling than your girl standing over you over the bed with a, with a kitchen knife. <laughs> like, you cheated on me, motherfucker. <laughs> Night, bitch. I'm sleeping right next to you. <laughs> My girl accused me of masturbating, man. Oh. I'm a fucking guy, man. We're gonna masturbate, but it was the circumstances. She she thought I was masturbating with her tanning oil. <laughs> Because the fucking bottle was down on my side of the bed and shit. I looked at her and I said, bitch. Just like that too. I said, bitch. In my head though, right? Bitch. I haven't been that desperate for a tan since the seventh grade. I love the light culture, man. Y'all motherfuckers are passionate about everything you do, man. <laughs> everything. Everything. Food, man. You see the El Pollo Loco commercials? <laughs> Crazy, you can fix! <laughs> Damn, they passionate about everything, man. Y'all passionate about drinking? I've been in a few quinceaneras in my lifetime. <laughs> I know what's up. I know what's up, man. I go, everybody, everybody's drinking at, at, at a Mexican get-together, man. Everybody from the 90 year olds to the nine year olds <laughs> Everybody drinking, man. And I went to a quinceanera, man. This little kid walked up to me, he was like, Come here, fuck you drinking, hoes. <laughs> you fucking around, eh? <laughs> Y'all even passionate about family photos and shit. I got a lot of Mexican friends, man. I look at their family photos, man. Everybody is posed up in that motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody need at least one Persian friend in your life, man. Just, just one. Yeah. Man, walking around in a little bedazzle. Affliction shirts is walking around and shit. You ever see a Persian just stalking at a Chipotle? Just... <laughs> you got any Asians out here? culture too man it's not true you know what they say man all Asians are not smart man that's that's, that's, a, dang, that's, a, racist, that's a racist stereotype they got some dumb motherfuckers too man that's real that's real they got some dumb motherfuckers man I never forget this shit man seventh grade math man cheating off this dude's test man I'm cheating off this motherfucking test all of I was like it's like I'm sitting in his lap I look up man He's looking at my paper cheating on my text. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Jay? <laughs> He's gonna be right in my eye. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna be stunned, motherfucker. <laughs> but you know, I'm feeling good, man. It's a Friday night. I got a little bit of change in my pocket, man. Put your hands together if you got money in your pocket on a Friday night. I think some of y'all clapping because everybody else is clapping. Broke ass. Broke ass. Broke ass. Yeah, bro. Get my money right, you know. You know, I'm trying to get my credit together, man. Yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a bad situation to be in when your credit is fucked up. Everybody say, yeah, you did this even with no credit. It's like, nah, motherfucker, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting what you want to get. 
<laughs> pretty much up situation, you know. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> the Chinese dude at the gas station don't even take my cash no more. He's looking at it. <laughs> I don't know about this. It's like, first of all, hey, that's a one dollar bill. <laughs> Two, who the hell you know is counterfeiting one dollar bills? <laughs> and D, point me in that direction, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some fucked up man. Bill collectors don't even call me anymore, man. They stop calling my cell phone, man. They start sending me text messages and shit. <laughs> Smart people are sending text messages, man. And, 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 and you know, they send me text messages during like booty call hours, trying to trick my ass. <laughs> like 3:35 in the morning, shit. I get a text message like, "You up?" <laughs> and my dumb ass, I'll take a bet. I make sure my girl in that room. <laughs> hey, I'm like, who's this? <laughs> Got your ass, motherfucker, it's a sprint, nigga. You <laughs> want $10,000? <laughs> try to get my money right, man. You know, you ever try, you know, Try to pull out $20 from the ATM machine and realize you only got like 18 available. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up scenario, man. You know what I'm saying? Because now you got to look for $2 to deposit. <laughs> That's a very awkward transaction inside the bank. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me uh, deposit at $2. <laughs> you know, they got that bulletproof thick glass. So I'm like, uh, what is that for? Yeah, two 